All right, Ms. Angarasa, haven't you always wanted to know how a chemical reaction takes place and how to tell if one took place? Absolutely. Okay, well, good. Um, we've got a cool video we're going to show you guys to, to show you signs of a chemical reaction. And I want you guys to watch really closely to see if you can tell um, some evidence of a chemical reaction taking place. So watch really closely and we'll recap at the end. Brought to you by Chemical Reactions. They're a blast! Did you know that everything is made of chemicals? And chemicals can react to form new chemicals. The TV you're watching, the clothes you're wearing, and the food you eat are all chemicals. So is uh, Senor Iguana. Now, sometimes chemicals react with each other to make new chemicals. That's what happens when you see metal rust, or you hear your stomach growl. Or maybe you've just seen a candle burning. They're all chemical reactions. <laughs> now, chemical reactions happen when the electrons, which are in everything, hook together. Now, here's a chemical you may have heard of. It's called uh, H2O. Do you know what that is? That's right, it's water. Now, water is two parts H and one part O. Now, look. We're running electricity through the water, and these bubbles are forming. These are two gases. One of them is H, and the other is O. One of them's hydrogen, and the other is oxygen. And look, there's twice as much hydrogen as oxygen. H2O. Isn't that cool? Now, oxygen's in the air we breathe. It's what makes iron rust and makes our blood turn red. Now, right here, we have a piece of iron, which is steel wool, and we're going to run some electrons through it and make it react with the oxygen in the air. It's pretty dramatic. Oh. Yeah, see how it glows orange? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's glowing pretty good. But over here, we have a plastic chamber that's full of oxygen and another piece of steel wool. Now watch what happens now. Pretty cool. See all the energy that's given off? And the energy's given off because the electrons are recombining with other electrons, making a chemical reaction. So in this reaction, energy's being given off. And in this reaction, we ran energy through the water and it separated into hydrogen and oxygen. Now what would happen if we let these two recombine? We should get water again, right? But we should also get a little energy. Well, we can do that. Because in this balloon, we have hydrogen and oxygen mixed together. And when they recombine, we'll get just a little bit of water vapor, which will end up in the room someplace. And we should get a lot of energy. You ready? Three, two, one! <laughs> now that's a chemical reaction. All right, special thanks to our good friend, Bill Nye. Um, so, Ms. Angarasa, what did you see in that video that might be something that tells you, told you a chemical reaction took place? Well, the first thing I saw was release of a gas. Oh, a gas. Okay, cool. So you saw bubbles, yes. right? All right, we saw that in, in the UDometers they had uh, when they were separating water. Yeah, right? the okay. hydrogen and oxygen gas. Cool. Uh, did you see anything else? I also saw a change in temperature. Change in temperature. Okay, so temperature could go up or temperature could go down. Yeah. Okay, right. so... Anything, any, anytime anything's on fire... It's getting hotter. Okay. Plain enough. Uh, change in color I know is another one. Did we really see a change in color in any of these reactions that he did? Well, the steel wool turned black. Yeah. Okay. So, so after after it got set on fire, basically, it turned black. Right. So change in color, chemical reaction took place. Um, I know we didn't see this one um, as it drops in here. Mm -hmm. The formation of a precipitate. What, what is that exactly? So that's something coming out of solution. So okay. settling to the bottom, some kind of reaction will happen and you will see some kind of solid on the bottom. Okay. So sometimes I could mix like two liquids together and I could get a solid form at the bottom. That's okay. Cool. Exactly. Very interesting. Um, there is one more. I know we saw a lot of this in this video. Yeah, energy being released. Oh, energy. Okay. So we release a bunch of energy in the form of light or sound. Yeah. Okay. So these are really good signs that a chemical reaction took place. Things to look out for. Yep.